wishbone What's this you're dreaming of? Such big imagination On such a little bug What's the story, wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? It kind of seems familiar Like a story from a book Shake a leg now, wishbone Let's wag another Come on, Wishbone, what's the story, Wishbone? What's the story, Wishbone? What's the story, Wishbone? What's the story, Wishbone? Shots working today, buddy. Beautiful. Now let me show you a layout, Joe. Hey, look, it's Grady Ray. Grady who? Grady the Stingray. He's the only freshman who's ever been a starter for varsity. He's got a deadly jump shot. It's like laser guided. Hey, should I show him my jump shot? Do that again. Watch. Not bad, kid. Hey, come here. Yeah, I taught him that. You wanna come to the park and shoot some hoops with us? We can play two on two. Sure. Just you. Just him. What about the coach? Are you sure it's okay? I told you twice I'm sure. Three times the charm? Okay. Bye. What about me? What about Wishbone? Uh, he better stay. They might step on him. We never step on him? Yeah. But, uh, they might not like it. Oh, they'll like me? I'm easy to love. Wishbone, stay. Stay? Wishbone, I said stay. On our day? You're saying goodbye on a Saturday. Stay on a Saturday? You have bigger and better things to do? The Red Badge of Courage is the story of another kid in a hurry, Henry Fleming. The novel, written by Stephen Crane in 1895, is set during the American Civil War. Fire! 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 Henry Fleming thinks he'll be Mr. Big Stuff, covered in glory, if he leaves his quiet life on the farm and joins the army. But his mother knew war was no game, and she didn't want a dead hero for a son. So, this is goodbye, Henry. Now, don't go acting like you'll beat the whole army of rebels single-handed. And if you want to be a man, don't think bragging, spitting, and cussing will make you one. But, Mama, I am a man. I just know I can do something big. Just come back home, and then maybe one day you'll grow up, and maybe then you'll be a man. Promise me you'll be careful. Ma, I already promised. Promise again. Okay, okay, I promise. Now, Mama, I've got to go. Goodbye. I love you. Robin? Yeah? Why aren't you going with Joe and... That's Grady Ray, isn't it? Ellen! I want to report a kidnapping! You mean the sting? <laughs> well, why aren't you going with them? They didn't ask. I give up. What are you doing? You smell like Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're Joe. You haven't washed this. But you're certainly not acting like Joe. Hmm. Well, it's almost a shock. It's kind of you, Joe. Truly kind, but 
I've got enough socks already. This really isn't necessary. Joe, it's David. He's calling about your biology project. I'm busy. Should I tell him to call back later? Hey, Joe, it's Sam. I'm still busy. Okay. So, exactly why don't we like sleeves anymore? Do you know someone named JT? It must be Grady. I'm JT. I knew it! He thinks he's someone named JT! Ellen! He's got amnesia! JT, huh? What happened to Joe? Yes! 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 You are looking at the new fourth member of Grady's crew. I'm Grady's new basketball partner. Yes. They're in high school. And they want to be friends with me. I don't know, Joe. It may not be as great as you think. After joining the army, all Henry did was wait. The men were nervous and excited. Their pent-up energy was about to explode. Come on, Wilson! My dollar says you'll win! Knock him down! Let's see blood! Come on, Fred! Go! It's gonna be a battle tomorrow. Huh? It's a battle. We're marching out in the morning. Hi, Jim. It's gonna be a battle tomorrow. A battle? But, Jim... Hey, guys, there's gonna be a battle tomorrow. Hey, a battle tomorrow. There's gonna be a battle tomorrow. I heard it myself. We're marching out in the morning. No, 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 no. It, it's true. We're gonna be fighting tomorrow, boys. There's no more waiting. <laughs> Hey, Henry, what do you think about that news, huh? A babble. Yeah, it's about time. I guess. Yeah. Let me tell you, I want to show them Johnny Reb something they'll never forget. I'm going to pound them. I'm going to knock their dirty rebel lights out. Aren't you? Well, yeah. But, Wilson, aren't you a little bit nervous? Nervous? <laughs> There's no way I'm nervous. No way. What are you anyway, Yella? What's eating you, Henry? Jim, have you ever wondered what a fight will be like? Did you ever ask yourself, what if I can't stand it? What if I just turn around and run? Henry, everyone wonders. And even Wilson. I was just thinking the same thing myself. Am I going to live another day? Henry, nobody knows. You're not alone. <sighs> Another Saturday alone. This is starting to look like a pattern. Sorry, Wishbone. Looks like Joe's gone again this Saturday. But you can keep me company. Ah, you're sweet, Ellen. Hello? Sam. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought he was practicing over at Robin's. Oh, hold on a second, Sam. I have another call. If it's Joe, tell him I'm still available. Uh, hello? David. No, I'm sorry, I haven't. Uh, David, I need to call you back. Sam, I need to call you right back. Joe! Wouldn't ring the doorbell. Where's, Where's Joe? Joe? That's today's big question. Sam and David are looking for him, too. It must be Grady Ray. <laughs> Joe, I had to apologize to three people for you today. Four, counting me. Do you really think it's a good idea to spend the entire evening with Grady, too? Mom, they want me to hang with them. They go out for pizza every Saturday. Joe, who your friends are is your own choice. But I just want you to be careful, okay? You know, older kids can sometimes be intimidating. Mom, I'm not afraid of them. They're my friends. I know it sounds selfish, but I just have to say it. What about me? All right, just be careful. All right. 
I'm there. I'm one of the crew. Finally, the soldiers were moving toward their first battle. Their breakfast sat like stones in their stomachs. But in just a few minutes of marching, those stones had turned into butterflies. The soldiers dug trenches to protect themselves. But many wondered if they were digging their own graves. Isn't so bad. But it was over. We won. I'm not here. I'm not here. It's a bad dream. A nightmare. I'll just wake up and it'll disappear. What am I doing? This isn't how it was supposed to be. I don't belong here. I'm just a kid. I don't want to be a soldier. I don't want to be a hero. I want to live. That's better. See? That squirrel isn't a coward because he's up in that tree. He's got a survival instinct. I'm not a coward. Am I? <laughs> 